What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D E L A R R O Z.com with the finest comic book in the world, Deus Volt, which you can find at MicahCurtis.com. If you have not backed it already, you probably have if you're already here. The finest Whoa. Comic book. All right. Uh, we are here with George and his. Gosh, George, can you just get that in focus? It's driving me crazy. There we go. Okay, and his uh, his uh, creation, Joe King, uh, which is uh, on the screen as it always is with George. What you doing today, George? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. I got a package in the mail. You from, got a package in the mail. I got a package in the mail, and I and I, it, I, I want to share. It, hold on, is it something? Is it as good as the package I got in the mail the other day? Let's see, right here. Oh my gosh, is that the oversized book? This is freaking huge. Hey, can you flip the, can, can, can you can you flip the pages? Show proof of life. It's just not a cover. It's oh, oh it's an actual oh book. God, it's huge, George. <laughs> I never seen one this big before. I don't think. What? So, uh, for comparison, for like a size standard, if you want like a standard size comic book. Whoa, shit! I can't even I can't even hold this up with my mic because it's so big, George. Oh my Holy gosh. shit! Listen to the bass. Holy shit! Okay. Uh, that this is how much bigger we're talking. Uh, your book is than than anybody else's book. It, it is three inches bigger than the Marvel Treasure Edition. Yeah, there you go. Woo! Wow. All right. Where where can you get Joe King these days? Well, uh, I got a I got a stealth campaign on uh, Kickstarter right now. Kickstarter.com, huh? Yeah, yeah. But I'm waiting for that to finish in thirty days. Joe. King, I'm looking it up right now. Oh my gosh! My Kickstarter—it's not going to be stealth for very long. The entire world knows about it once it's on my stream. So, uh, here you go. <laughs> Echo, you amateur! I don't give a fuck, Lunga. What do you think? L what Lunga's in the chat? Oh yeah! yeah. yeah look at that—the great See? council. Yeah. yeah, there he is. All right, Isaac, welcome to the chat. Drake, welcome to the chat. Determined Sheepy, welcome to the chat. Just saying, welcome to the chat. Hail, everybody. Hail. Look at that. Isaac's wearing a mask. <clears throat> Isaac, you don't have to wear a mask. Is he wearing a mask in his picture? Look at that. That's a cup. He's got a coffee cup. It's a coffee oh, cup. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. That is, oh, that's the Kavant. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking right now because uh, we got our we got our boy uh, Dark Gift uh, streaming right now with Berserk Guts. And uh, we're, we're going to check this out real quick. There are 11 people there and 11 people here currently. Uh, I don't want to do any sort of unboxing, George, uh, unless we have more people here than Dark Gift Stream. I mean, it doesn't seem right. Oh, no. Oh, we already beat them. Okay. Well, where are we okay. at now? Where are we at? <laughs> we're, at, we're at 15. They're at 11. So uh, we're okay. So uh, uh, am I a mod in there? Maybe I'll put the link to my chat. Let me check. Oh, I am. I can put, I'll put the link to my stream <laughs> in his stream. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm such an asshole. Oh my god. I did this at Nasser got really mad at me when I did this the other day. <laughs> oh my gosh. He got beautiful. so mad. I, I uh um he he was like he was like genuinely upset and I'm like, dude, you get the little kayfabe thing going, it's it's kind of fun. Uh, and, uh, and then everybody tunes in and pays attention. That's just kind of how it goes. Everybody likes yeah, yeah. it, exactly. but, uh, yeah, but now Nas you know, Nasser's a, a gentle soul. He's uh, yeah. he's an innocent, he's a little bit autistic and you know, you just can't mess with him too much. So come to a better stream. Here we go. <laughs> we'll keep that going for a sec. I got to sneeze. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, John Delarosa sneezing. Yeah, I don't know if that that might be a uh, that might be the the COVID. You never know. That that was a mime sneeze. That's right. Fuck Nasser. Fuck JDA. <laughs> oh man, is there Nasser? Uh, he thinks you are Nasser in Discord. That's really funny. <laughs> I'm there to trigger Berserk. Yeah, that's the thing. Berserk getting triggered might be more fun than us. George, I don't know what you've got in store. You didn't tell me. Um, so I'm curious as to what you actually will have here. Yes. It's an authentic, it's an authentic package from the, uh, 
well, what is it? The uh, the studio manager of Conquest Comics. Is that what well, he calls it, himself? It, well, it's it's from my good friend Fake Liam. The the chief uh, chief uh, creative officer Let's, of Conquest Comics. Uh, maybe I, I I don't know. You never know. Maybe he's the chief construction. You officer. just turn that off so you didn't dock yourself. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Wait a minute. Get the camera working. There we go. No. Oh, George, what am I watching? Uh, what the hell was that? My camera uh, my camera screwed up. It looked like a, a prison. No, that was my house. Are you in prison? No. Oh, uh, my! I, I got to reboot. John, I'm sorry. My, my, oh, my God. You you set up this entire stream like this, and you do this, George. Really? My my ent my entire video. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Give me really? Some. I have Give nothing else to stream about. I have not paid attention to anything all day. Oh my gosh. How embarrassing, guys. I'm sorry. I started this stream. I gave George two hours to prepare for this. I said, this is going to be fantastic. And this is how George treats me by doing this. So, uh, okay. Yeah, George could, he might have surveillance the entire globe. I can see that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Give me a sec. I'm plugging, I'm, I'm replugging in my USB. Oh, man. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. What a terrible stream. This is my, I trust it. I know. Never trust George. <clears throat> Never trust George. That is the uh, real, uh, you know, lesson of the stream. The other thing we should probably actually talk about is uh, Arkhaven.com, everybody. Uh, Arkhaven.com is the new hotness in comics. If you've not been there yet, I'll pull it up. I was actually supposed to have Vox Day on today, but then I forgot to uh, forgot to ask him to do it. So, <laughs> but he launched a new uh, website, which is going to be a competitor to Webtoon. And this is up right now. Uh, and it's got all sorts of cool comics on it. There will be different comics uh, every single day. You'll have different uh, different new comics, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday. It just launched Wednesday, so that's what we got. Uh, Thursday, we got, we got a bunch. Friday, we've got a couple more coming in. I guess it's not announced yet, but there we go. So we're on Thursday right now. Oh, look, there's my flying sparks right here. I already got 577 views here. Everybody should heart my flying sparks. I'm going to put this in the chat. You guys go in there and heart my flying sparks so that it gets more uh, more love than some of the other stuff. It's kind of annoying that it's got a, uh, that it's low. Um, and uh, it's cool. So you just click on the comic. You have episodes just like you have on Webtoon. And uh, you get, a you know, this is these are formatted basically for your phone size. And you get a little panel by panel action right here. And uh, everybody gets to read fun comics. That's the that's the goal is getting more readers, getting more people uh, checking this stuff out. I really love uh, what's interesting is, is if you look at this compared to Webtoon, it actually has a, uh, a higher resolution to it. So by far. So uh, so everything's just a little bit crisper on here. Everything's just a little bit better. And some of the features that are coming down the pipeline on this are just going to be out of control. I can't uh, I can't talk about them because I was told about them in confidence. But uh, I know what's coming down the pipeline on this stuff, and uh, it's it's going to be very very awesome. That's why I'm that's why I'm hooked up with this. Uh, I totally believe in this project, and uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm full tilt for it. So <clears throat> hope you guys will enjoy arcaven.com. It doesn't just have my comics on. We can read somebody else's comics, but it does have mine, which is kind of cool too. Um. So we got, uh, what I'm really interested for is actually Throne of Bones, the comic. Um, this is a fantasy deal. I'll, I'll give him a heart. I'll give it, even though it's competition, I'll give him a heart. I give you a heart, Vox, if you watch. Vox doesn't watch videos, but I'll heart you, Vox. I heart Vox. Um, yeah, so very cool. He's got a, so this is based on his fantasy series. And I actually discovered Vox through reading his uh, fantasy books. I did not know anything about him. I just picked up a Throne of Bones, uh, the book, and I read it, <clears throat> and uh, I was like, this is really, uh, really good. Uh, he's a really fantastic uh, epic fantasy writer, and he took a setting basically of ancient Rome and uh, and then threw fantasy on top of that. So you don't get your typical medieval sort of deal. You get more of a like a Roman uh, sort of, yeah, this, this is going to be a beautiful comic book. Uh, you get a Roman setup. And uh, very cool. I, I like that whole I like that whole vibe quite a bit. 
uh, with the whole, and it's got elves and dwarves and all that shit in it. He did, he writes elves very well. Uh, yeah, Vox did, definitely did not draw this. I don't know who did, but uh, but yeah, it's his uh, it's his story. Uh, I really like the way he writes elves. They're like um, they're not evil per se, but they're very uh, cunning. They're very uh, they got a very interesting vibe to them through this whole thing. So this is Arcaven. There's t tons of comics on here already. We're we're two days in. Uh, are you are you putting Joe King up on Arcaven? Uh, what is that? I've never heard of it. It's a brand new like competitor to Webtoon. It so, is. Yeah. Oh, this sounds exciting. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, what, what's what's the advantage of it? Uh, you get a bunch of people reading your shit that uh, are not reading your shit currently. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's it's like an online store. Like uh. It's not even a store. You just click on Flying Sparks and you start reading Flying Sparks. So. Like, like oh. so. Oh, okay. And then you throw your little link in there to your little campaign on the on the main page, and you know, some people like it, they'll buy it. Holy That's smokes! The deal. Yeah, tons of comics on here. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm 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 really for this. I, are you familiar with Webtoon? Uh, uh, yeah, Webtoon. I heard of it because yeah, everyone keeps talking about it. Odie's going to be on <laughs> Webtoon. You know, everybody's going to be on Webtoon. I know. Uh, Webtoon, well, no, people get freaking big on Webtoon. Uh, but, uh, it really, Webtoon really lends itself towards, like, uh, you know, gay high school anime shit. Like, you know, like literally gay, you know? Uh, cause it's a bunch of teenage girls who are on there. So this one's basically a, uh, a Webtoon for adults with, uh, with, with better features. So that's what we're doing here. Hey, James, welcome. Uh, I'm feeling great. Feeling good. Feeling great. <laughs> yes, exactly, Mister. Okay, Ryan. so, so, so NASA uh, is bored already, George. So you better have something freaking good. You had bet this had better not be a letdown. I, I, I had better I, be happy I, by I, this. I got, I got a decapitated head of uh, joking. That's not what we're looking for on this stream. We're not. No. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. So my uh, good friend Fake Liam sent me a package in the mail. Not real, Liam. My, like I said, my good friend Fake Liam. Who's Fake Liam? Uh, well, if I if I tell you, then uh, he uh, he wouldn't be a, a good friend. Are you going to dox him? Ah, uh, no, because I I I took out all the uh, the information, and now he already now, took it off. Uh, that's too bad. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to use the magic of uh, exactly don't knock gay anime ripoffs. That's my yeah. It's web, that's webtoons bread bread and butter too. So so yeah, Arkhaven is much better. Uh, than that, mainly because it has my comics on there, so that makes yeah. everything better. Watch out! Don't cut yourself, George. Be careful. Be I'm working, careful. I'm working, working, it, working. It. <laughs> Can you imagine if George just like freaking cut his finger off on my stream? Oh my gosh! Everybody, tune in for that. Send the link. Save. Okay, I'll, I'll put Nasser on for sure. Let me send this to you, Nasser. Nasser. All right, it's on. It's uh, it's in your DMs. We don't. We don't want to testify to that. Uh, uh, what about what about that uh, Renfamous person that you keep sending it to? Oh, should, I, should I send it to Renfamous too? No, no. What, what's that Star Wars guy? The, uh, that uh, you oh, uh, the quartering. Oh, quartering. I'll, send it to, yeah, I'll definitely the, send it to the quartering. The quartering. The quartering basically is the same as Renfamous. So you know, Ooh, same person, hey, look at same this. vibe. It, it it's come, a box. It, it comes in a, a styrofoam. Ooh, styrofoam. Oh, oh, oh look at this. oh my gosh. Let's. let's Wait a minute. Let's just. That's not how that Liam didn't pack that, did he? Well, I said, like I said, my good friend Fake Liam did this. Your good friend packed this better because Liam sent them in um in just envelopes, right? Oh my gosh! Hey, this kind of padding. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Okay. Well, geez. Oh, oh look at. I, oh, oh my God! They didn't even. They didn't even use the strip wow. yet. Oh, the, uh, I can you, can, re you can reuse it. it. You can <laughs> throw Joe King in it and mail it to people. That's great. That's right. Except Good for them. This is only half the size of what I need. It's mm. it's bad. Stop, Autist Whisper. How you doing? All right. Let's 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 look at this. Oh yeah, this is old. I already did this stream, George. Yeah, but like I a month. That. Like I did this like a month ago. I got my Xenotype from uh, from uh, who was it? I can't remember. A uh, nice guy. Uh, and uh, I got my Xenotype, and I, I, I actually did a full read-through. And this is uh, this is old news. Liam's on to, like, building a treehouse now. 
Okay, let's let's look at this. Look look at the thickness here. Uh, you're, you're you're looking at uh, two Joe King books. Two Joe Kings. Two Joe Kings to one Liam. Two Joe Kings to one Liam. But uh, but it's I mean it's, the paper stock is thick. Oh my gosh. What's up, April? My favorite person on the planet. You are awesome. Oh, this is cart. Oh my god. I know. Uh, gosh. Oh, gosh. oh. <laughs> George, what are you what are you gonna do next? Are you gonna unbox Jawbreakers or something? Jawbreakers Lost Souls. Are you oh gonna tell god. us all about that? You can tell us about your cyber frog blood, honey. Oh my is, that, god. is that gonna be the deal? Jeez. Oh what a disaster. Oh my gosh. You made me stream for this. Look at this. This is the the, the, the this the, oh my, okay um uh, you know uh, was it by pay what am i oh, look at this the spine is gonna break. oh my gosh <laughs> april will you come on here and save the stream please i'm gonna send you the link in discord let's see oh two, man two, three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, you know by by the time you hit page 10 the spine's already breaking what is your discord name that's right uh, all right i sent it to you in discord Okay. I can't. Uh, I can't deal with George anymore. April, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta save this. Holy crap, George! This is what the is biggest. It? This is the biggest disappointment uh, since Jawbreakers Lost Souls. Oh, I, I uh, removed. Sorry, I meant to remove the. Uh, do we still have more viewers than? Uh, Nasser, Dark you're Rift? not. You are not in the back room. You're lying. Do we, do we still have more viewers than Dark Rift? Uh, yeah, of course. That's not hard to do. <laughs> so, uh, I, I I I don't know what to tell you. This is this is crazy. April's on her way. April's gonna make this way better. She oh is. My God. Well, one, she's pretty, so that helps, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and and it's a it's a real shame that this book is printed backwards twice. <sighs> I'm bored. I'm bored of this stream now. I want to leave this stream. I'm going to leave this stream. No, I can't do that to my audience. Leave George here alone. Oh, my God. Okay, well, Yo, then, that's it. Why, that's why, it. Why'd you only get the one book? I've got two Xenotypes. What? I don't know. This, this came from my good friend, Fake Liam, and uh, he only sent me the one book. Oh, my God. He only got the one book. Oh, my oh. gosh. I, I There's got to be something else going on that's not this. This is not even news. Well, you know, I could actually. What's uh, going on? Open, open this book up and re and repage everything. Let me go to boundingintocomics.com and see if anything interesting is going on beyond George. Gosh. Did I kick George for this? Could you? I advertise this, though. I advertise that uh, you had a cool Liam Gray unboxing. That's why everybody's here. And everybody thought it was going to be something interesting or new. And and no, it's just another freaking Xenotype. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Comic Books Plus. Arc tunes, yeah, we're talking about, yeah, Arc Haven. That's where we already went over that. Uh, uh, telling fans to f off. What's Brian Hitch doing? I like Brian Hitch's art. What's going on? Uh, let's uh, see. Brian Hitch knows how to draw um, hair, a uh, hairline. Infinite Frontier cover. Uh, okay. Kryptonian barbers ain't shit. Oh yeah, that's really bad. Oh my, what the hell? Brian Hitch is usually solid. April, what's going on? Oh, that was disappointing. Nothing, nothing's going on with April, apparently. There's, there's no audio from April? That is the most bizarre. Hey. Hair. There you are. Oh there my go. gosh. What do you think of this hairline? What? Oh, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear us? Okay, can you hear me? Testing, mic test. I can. T we can all hear you. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, you can't I'm hear concerned us, about the way it points into his forehead. It does point into his forehead in a very weird way. It, and then, like, like, what's with the little black spot on his forehead? Like, I get that it's supposed to be a shadow. Wait, I guess. Wait, no, I can hear you guys. Oh, good. Are you just delayed? Yeah, that, that's some. Big delay. What's wrong with your internet? Are you in like flyover country? Me? Yes. I guess so. Oh man. Uh, can you? Could you send? 
Can I send, uh, my can I send what? phone may be weird. It's your uh, phone? What do you want me to send Send it? me the link through uh, Facebook because my Discord's not pulling up on my laptop. Everybody's favorite deal. Let's see. Uh, a... Do I know your name on Facebook? Didn't you change your name on Facebook? Uh, oh, no. There you are. Okay. All right. That's sent. She's gone. All right. So this is this is the big controversy, huh? This is this is a this very weird. Is it him or is it the colorist? Because it almost looks like those lines are not from the uh, actual line art. You know what I'm saying, George? Um, you know, it could be. Colors could be the, add a lot of weird stuff sometimes. It could be the colorist. Gosh, I, I like the forehead thing. Because, weird too. because I've never, I've never, you know, either, either the character is bald or the character has got hair. I've never seen a, a superhero or bad guy with half hair on his head. Shit's pushed back higher than LeBron's. Wow. What self-respecting black man walking out of the barbershop? Oh, wow. They were going after him, huh? That's yes. funny. Yeah, look like, look at that. Uh, okay, archive link. Well, where, where did he respond? Oh, you lot can F right off. Well, I'm sorry, don't draw a shitty drawing. Come on. You got to take your lumps when you draw something that stupid. There she is. April, what's up? Yeah. Can, you hear, can you hear me like normally now? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I guess my phone was delaying it. How am I coming through now? You're much better. Woohoo! Thank God. <laughs> oh my gosh, nobody wants to hear George talk, so it's like it's really tough. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I understand. <laughs> yeah, sorry, George. Okay, sorry. You, you're gonna move. There he is, the, guy from Red Bank. So this this is the guy who sent me my Liam package. Uh, really appreciate that you did that because it, it was it made for an awesome stream. Uh, what you missed so far is that George simply opened a box that had Xenotype in it. It was the most boring uh, thing ever. I was very upset because I really hyped this. I was hyped myself, and uh, it turned out we have a terrible stream. But April is going to save it. So I'm going to give you all dancing lessons. <laughs> if you dance on screen, you will like you'll probably get me super chats from Isaac. So okay, okay, what, I okay. You, uh... I don't allow uh, my baby's face on the internet, so I'd have I to would like not. I wouldn't down. want your baby's face on the internet either, unless you directly send it to me. I do like babies. Yeah. Uh, we'll, of, we'll figure it out. Keep you guys ballet, hip hop. Uh, what do you want, yeah. Isaac? Do you want? Do you want ballet or hip hop? What do you want? Isaac's going to be the determinant of this. He's the biggest simp on the entire internet, so Kanye would be very upset by this. <laughs> Oh my gosh! You guys get tired of me dancing. Uh, he I'm wants he wants ballet because he wants a classy sort of uh, cultural sort of thing going on. All right, here. One so, second. so we got that, uh, and we have uh, April's April's making babies like a, like a good woman should. So, that's uh, that's the deal. He's dancing now too. Like he he points to the record player and demands I put on a Godzilla. Uh, record and then he like sits there and like bounces up and down and turns in circles. So take me after me. Aw. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna get on this stream, James. It's just kind of how it goes. So just roll with it. <laughs> yes, everybody likes classy ladies. <laughs> we don't want thoughts. So no thoughts. No thoughts. I don't want right. to look at this anymore. This is ugly. Like the be detached from me so i'll talk first then i'll dance so all right what have you been up to lately so i'm actually for the first time since a while like write a story again uh which has been very interesting in the fact that it's being a baby for a while right now and i haven't like I i'm in the process of figuring out how to fit in writing while having a small to look after all day uh it's easy you give the baby to your wife and then you just go and write <laughs> see, see, uh, that's that's how you do it. So oh, when you're the my bad. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, uh, so I've got a short story uh, that I'm trying to submit to an anthology to do like mid May. Uh, it's in the back of my Mary May story, which my uh, avatar happens to be a picture from Mary May. So, everyone should go check it out by the way. We want little girls to be badass and like saving the day. Um, 
but there's a dinosaur. I'm trying to write a story. Right NASA's right. I wasn't going to complain, but you're roboting. So, oh, am I? Yeah. Do you uh, know, uh, I don't know if there's a good way to fix it. I might have some headphones. Give me a moment. All right. I'll filibuster until then. We don't want George to talk, at least. George, I'm really <laughs> disappointed in you. What? I told you it was going to be from a good friend, Fake Liam. I thought you were going to have something interesting and new. From f Fake Liam? Yes. What were you expecting? Anything interesting and new. Maybe uh, Dino whatever. What's what's the freaking Dino thing he's doing? Dino Island? Dino Island? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Dino World? Dino, Dino World. Dino something? Dino. Is everyone doing Dino stuff now? Yeah, Dino is kind of the new thing. Everybody puts that in their books now. Huh, okay. Well, I guess I'm on the trend, even though I didn't realize it, because I'm writing a short story about dinos. Yes. <laughs> if I were a dinosaur, my love part two, Baron Von Metz asks. <laughs> well, that's not my story. That's not your story? Oh. No, my story. So there's a... Um, and I'll, ah, don't grab my microphone. Excuse you. Uh, my story has to do with uh, a dinosaur learning to... Uh, so, like, the, the anthology wants good, like, stories for, uh, like, young you know, kids, kind of like junior high to high school. And so my story is revolving around a dinosaur that needs to learn fortitude, uh, you know, like, figure out how to, uh, like, he's a, he wants to protect the forest, but he starts out not being comfortable with violence and, like, how knowing how to use his strength so he either over or underreacts. And so the story... Part of it is him learning that to have peace, sometimes you have to like step on things and then, but knowing when and how to apply, you know, that sort yes. of. Yes. If you want stuff. peace, you must crush your enemies first. Oh my Rip God. And tear. I, oh my God. I think I know what Liam is doing. What's Liam doing? I think he's going to make his own Dinotopia book. Oh no. I, I, it all it all starts to make sense. Dinotopia. Oh, uh, no. uh, Dino Island King type. Oh, no. Uh, the, the entire concept that he's presenting and every time he talks about it, I, it, it just it just hit my it hit me. It, it, you can literally plug in the Dinotopia into everything Liam said. Jeez. Oh, Why my. is George still here? Great question. It'll just be me in April now. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh man, there he is. Yeah, the whole chat wants him gone. Oh, <laughs> poor George. Poor George. You can get his book at Kickstarter.com. I put it somewhere. I don't know where I went. Where it went? Did I put the link in the chat? Uh, is it in the Scar? I was trying to chill for George a little bit. Uh, I try to be nicer to George and every Joe King. Uh, discover Joe King on Kickstarter. Okay, let's see what we got here. Joe King. Didn't come up. What the hell, Joe? I can't find it. I don't know. I tried. What's his Kickstarter called? It's called Joe King. Joe King. Hmm. By George. No, keep George out. Uh, imagine being bullied by JDA's audience. A <laughs> uh, price is bring George back. George left. Um, he oh, did not. I, thought, I thought you kicked him out because I did. No, dead. no, I I was gonna, and he and then he's gone. So uh, I don't know what to do. So uh, I kind of feel bad, but I kind of don't. He's Canadian anyway. He's not. He's not a real person. So <laughs> can't yeah. really argue with you on that. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. So you've been kind of MIA for like a while. Yeah, I've been uh, kind of busy, just a little bit. You know, yeah. uh, have have my cute little attachment. Uh, he's. Growing yeah. nice and big. Uh, I I have to remind myself sometimes. I'm like, man, I really didn't do anything, which I'm fine with. There's seasons in life. I'm I'm perfectly happy. Like I want to write, but like kids are cooler. You yes. know, my my goal in life has always been raise kids and write books on the side. So yeah, uh, that's the right way to do things. So yeah, because uh, I mean, eventually they grow up and they grow up way too fast. So uh, that's that's my stance on it. But yeah, I'm finally. Have at most, a point of, where... most, most of the people at this point probably don't even know who you are, which is kind of oh, sad. Yeah. So April's like probably one of my best friends ever. So, <laughs> so, uh, we did so sing, what really was it, Friday, man, Friday karaoke yeah. at Liberty Con. We sang Friday and it was awesome. We did sing Friday, the Rebecca Black song. Everybody remembers that internet meme, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, George's feelings are hurt. Oh no. 
George, we showed your book though, right here. George, your book's in the oh, wait, chat. Someone, yeah, someone's got the link now. If you're watching this, your books are actually in the chat. George ruined JDA's career, I'm seeing elsewhere. <laughs> oh, man. George, George is seething. Does, does anybody actually know this for real? I <laughs> if George is actually sad, we can let him come. God. No, George is used to it. Me. Everybody treats George like this, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been a little MIA, but I'm trying to... I don't know. I'm trying to be a little more active because part of me wants to just not worry really at all about building an audience and just worry about like figuring out how to make content uh, yeah. while raising kids. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of, I'm trying to be a little more like present, you know, just try and put up posts of what I'm working on, like on Instagram and Twitter and stuff just to. You just so got to roll on YouTube every single day is going to, is the actual way to do things. <laughs> It's a train That's wreck. Difficult for me, at least, because uh, it would be very noisy or baby being clingy. So yeah, we well, got hard. you got for the simps. You gotta you gotta not let them know you have a baby because they, they don't <laughs> that doesn't really they don't like that usually. Uh, definitely don't let them know you have a husband. Like you can never mention that. Uh, uh -huh. So I'm just telling you how he, it is. He's actually yeah. got some things in the works uh, that I'm, I'm I'm hoping he'll be able to have time to or be able to keep working on it, but he's got some, some things, uh, that I'm really, I'm rooting for him. What's your Twitter uh, handle? I, Let me see. For me or you? Are, are you on Twitter? I am. No one pays attention to me. I'm actually Anguirus on Twitter because again, no one pays attention to me. Uh, so one weekend I was just like, screw it. I'm Anguirus now. So my handle, I believe is AM Freeman 3.14. Like pie. Yeah. That's my birthday. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah, hi, Dave. AM Freeman one three one four. I that didn't come up, huh? Oh, sorry. It's just three. AM Freeman three. Yeah, oh, there I you am. are, Angiris. I am uh, Angiris. Sure, I'll get he everybody to follow boy. you. Everybody follow. Uh, <laughs> everybody follow April. Yay! Yeah, I feel like most of the time I have maybe one person. Yeah, see, that will see, I, I ruined it for you. You already <laughs> lost your OnlyFans subscriber. Oh. Oh man. That's okay. I. Only fans is, is not something I want to do. I was <laughs> going to set. I was going to be associated with really. I was going to set one up for me. Um, <laughs> so I think I, I would get. I think. I think for sure. Uh, well, from sketch therapy, I, do you know? You don't know who sketch therapy, is, so you don't have I to don't worry about this. So. You don't want to know anyway. Oh. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> on his uh, two-hour stream yesterday, where he was just going ballistic about me and Nasser and a couple others, uh, he said that Vicky is my simp and nerd wonder is my simp. So I would in theory have two subscribers to my only fans, uh, mm. who would be Vicky and nerd wonder, which is a pretty good start. Uh, I think Isaac would too. Um, so Just that'd be three fans where a pretty girl tells you you're doing a good job. I think that's like what guys actually want to hear. Yeah, probably true. It's a good point. Delete well, I... my Twitter account for good. I know I I'm, I'm going back and forth on this stuff. Um, because, uh, I don't know. Twitter and Facebook are being less useful than they used to be. Sorry, uh, guy from Red Bank. You're, you're Gosh, a little thing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, that was my fault. I, I let that slip. She didn't say anything. So, <laughs> I, like, part of me wants to be as, like... You don't want to be a horrible the... person, is what you're saying. No, no, I'm, I'm totally switching gears now, talking okay. about just, like, uh, oh. <laughs> my presence on the internet. No, my, my mind's already past that. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. She's like, that was never even a consideration. So fuck yeah, off, no. people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, uh, part of me, part of me thinks about being like completely like shut mouth of like at all of like if I have a husband or kids or things. But like, it, it's really hard to be that. Like, that would probably be too much stress to keep secret. It's just better to keep like, you, you also their have to like, identity secret. We have to, we have to do it for the culture war too. So, that too, yeah. Trad wife yes. for life. Trad wife for life. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I mean, you you gotta like be out there and be like, this is a much more positive way to live than your your thoughtery. And yeah. uh, I think I think that does need to be out there for people for real because there's just nobody on the internet doing that for real. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I don't know. Sometimes it's hard. Like I know a lot of ladies that you know, they love being home with their kids and then, but still kind of struggle with feeling like they should be doing something else or something more. And in some way, like some ways I'm feel glad that I've, I've never had that struggle. I've very always been like staunchly anti like 
career feminism. It's it's unnatural. Like, it's unnatural young. to have that struggle. It, it's a, it's something that's programmed into us from TV and stuff. Yeah, and so I'm so. kind of glad I don't have that. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to relate how other people feel. Uh, I don't know. It's it's interesting, uh, but I'm glad that I've always been happy with like this way of life. Good. Yeah. Uh, so April and I met uh, in 20. I remember oh, when you were banned from Baycon. Bay I wasn't exactly banned. I was just removed from their guest or, list. Yeah. Well. So, um, whatever. I, that kind of like kickstarted everything. That kickstarted like, everything. No, no one knew you. You had just gotten your first book out, and, and like, then it was the on? the uh, superversive. It was like kind of the you know group of us superversives that got wind of it, and then kind of was like, ah, oh, we got to you know. This, yeah, and then this I got thrown John into this email getting... list where like I got fifty thousand emails every day. I was like, oh, yeah, oh my gosh. I love, that, love that email <laughs> list. <laughs> oh man. That was fun. It's kinda, that was it's fun times sad. back then. I wish I wish uh I understand why uh Jason wasn't able to keep the superversive press itself running. Uh but you know, you know what it like, is. Discord and all that is kind of a better way to do things like that though, because you get then you get to yeah. chat, you know. Uh well, and I actually don't play golf. Um I was just, I, I was, uh, I was just kind of saying that in the discord. I am, I don't golf at all. <laughs> um, this was after Sabbath, sad and rabid puppies. So, um, I was not around during that really. Uh, but I started asking questions because, uh, people in the convention circuit, uh, were just going off on how terrible Brad Torgerson is and terrible everybody is. And, and I'm just like, have you talked to these people? Well, no, I'd never talk to them because they're terrible. And I'm like, well, how do you know they're terrible then? Uh, because, because everybody says so. Uh, yeah, and, the guy uh, that's and, married to a black a woman circle. is totally racist. Yeah. Very <laughs> bizarre. Um, and so I, what happened was I, I reached out to Brad on Facebook and I'm just like, Hey, what's up with all this stuff? And he just talked to me like a normal person. And I'm like, Oh, this is a normal person. Now it turns out he's not, he's a libertarian. Uh, so, uh, you know, to make that of what you will, but, uh, but uh, you know, I libertarians aren't that bad at the end of the day. They're not that like, there's a lot worse out there uh, mm -hmm. at Worldcon. So, uh, that was did that. Did you actually go to Worldcon? I think you did, right? I attempted to go. Oh, uh, I remember. Yeah. yeah. I attempted to go. I, I, I brought my tranny friend with me as a, as a human shield. I remember watching that uh, live stream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I, I walked in there and I made them kick me and my tranny friend out in the name of diversity. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was pretty great. Wild times, wild yeah. times. I just there's can't wait to can't wait till uh, Liberty Con is able to like get you know run again I'm kinda, because I'm kind of <laughs> sad they caved this year. I'm I, I'm uh, a little I disappointed. What it was them. yeah. I can't remember what it was. I'd have to read the email again. Uh, if I it, like, do, you remember what it was? Because it seemed like it was something that was kind of out it, of their control. It was basically there were a bunch of Karens talking about like where are we wearing masks and what's going to happen and uh, you know like are you going to have enough sanitizing stations and, and oh really. They were just getting pestered by the Karens. So they're like, you know what? We don't want to deal with it. Um, and I'm sad about that because every time you let the Karens win, uh, you get you get it worse, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So there's uh, a fantasy that's over here in, uh, was it just near outside of Raleigh, North Carolina? And I'm close enough to drive there. Uh, but I don't And they're like, actually running it? They're running it. I think it's at the end of May. Uh, hmm. I think right now they have a sale for like $60 for the weekend uh, through like April 30th. And then it goes to whatever other price. If it was, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to go for the whole thing. Uh, if it's just me and little man, I'm like, I'm like, it'd be nice to meet people, but m would probably be hard to really like sit and listen to any of the stuff because yeah. he's very bouncy at this point. So you don't I have any, you don't have any friends there. going or anything. Uh, unless I got my mom to fly in. Um, but nah, so I'm probably going to skip it this year, but next year I'm probably, I'm going to try and get in touch with them earlier to, uh, see if I can go as like a pro or something. Cause right. it's not too far from me. Yeah. But uh, oh. I'm going to go ahead and drop my book in the chat. Oh, uh, good. Are you a mod? I... Did I make you a mod? No. Somebody uh, make maybe... April a mod. Can I make April a mod or can one Here, of my I'll mods just, make I'll April drop mod? it. Can I drop it on the, um, yeah. On just oh, the, uh, uh, we already computer. got it for you. Here we oh, go. So did... Is this the one you wanted? Yeah. I just posted one. I think. Where'd you post? Did post? I'm trying to post it anyways. In the back oh, chat you, here. Oh, I was just trying to do it on YouTube, but I guess you can't. Uh, uh you got to be a mod. I can oh, make okay. you a mod. Here, uh, I think someone posted it. Is that yep, it? I've got it is. up on Streamyard. Yeah, is that yep. it? Yep. 
Okay, cool. Let's pull this up on Amazon and take a look. Uh, I highly recommend supporting April. I like April a lot. So, Thanks. I've actually, Let's... there's a local outdoor market that uh, I set the book up at, and I've sold at least two copies there. So Rocking. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get around to talking to some more local places. Uh, and at some point, when it first came out, I did a, like, as was a vendor at like a little weekend market. Uh, and that was a lot of fun, man. I love talking to people uh, and just, you know, being able to chat to people and hear like, you know, what they're getting the book for. I think someone got it. Like there is a, uh, you know, siblings or something or step siblings or siblings that were apart and they got it for like the older brother to read to the sister on the phone or, um, you know, someone got it for their class or, uh, someone that got it from the market was getting it because they were adopting a kid and trying to build like a unique like library for them of right. you know children's books. So I want to do more face to face sort of like shows. You know, just local. Are you working? Are you are you working on like really pushing that uh, children's book market? Um, not sure yet. I'm also considering if I need to have two pen names to differentiate some of my more like you know some of my not tailored for kids fiction and kids fiction. George, uh, I'm not giving you a bunch of attention. You, you created a terrible stream. It was boring. You bored everybody in the chat and I'm not going to give you a bunch of attention. Just not going to happen. Uh, so I don't know. I think, I'll, so I'm writing, you know, another sort of like children's story uh, for this like anthology for Isaac asks, uh, is this book going to scare my little niece? I don't uh, think so it's going to be. I would, I would say. Um, How old I did? Let's see. A question. Like seven and up is kind of where I put it at. Uh, though, you know, it's to the, the parent or the, you know, uncle's discretion as far as like, if they're a little more on the, uh, you know, scared side when it comes to things. Because, I mean, there is like a lot of action, you know, they get, like, you know, one of the dinosaurs gets hurt and is bleeding. There's, you know, nightmares. It's. The big theme is like having hope even in despair. And by that nature, you know, there's some despair and scary stuff. Like it's literally called Mary May and the Nightmare Man. So, oh man, I gotta wait. Hang on. Let me read the first two reviews I got on this on Amazon. Why, did you, because... why does the Amazon preview here? They, they kind of messed you up here with like by putting oh, a preview they... that, that didn't even have a preview, basically. It like just goes to the contents and then doesn't actually show anything. Huh. Okay. I'll have and that's to tough that. for a children's book. Like you want to, like you want to highlight a couple of illustrations probably, but I don't mm -hmm. know that you can do anything about that because Amazon's ridiculous. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into it. Uh, let's see. But the the two for the very first like um, reviews I got were hilarious. Uh, what was it? Because one was like, is this your hater review? Uh, let's. See. It was one that said, "I'm going to read this hater review." I like the hater review. Let's can see, you see my one... screen? Uh, or are you not I looking? That's why because I'm I'm pulling up a bunch of stuff on the screen. It seems okay, like I'm not. looking at here. We go. Tab. I'm looking at mixture so, of darkness. Yeah. Near death experiences. More. And more darkness. darkness. Fighting off metal wolves, pirates, dinos. More darkness. <laughs> Just, Just way too dark. too dark. And then yeah, uh, let's see. The next one was uh was it a tale of hope? I think was the second one, if I remember right. And it's like whimsy and a uh, love for storytelling fuel this is an adorable adventure at first it seemed a path a tad episodic but stick with it once the nightmare man appears everything starts falling into place the story has a few dark moments but nothing a child above six can't handle my children age six and eleven both loved it what's more cool. is how that darkness is conquered we have a parable of bravery bravery even in the face of adversity a reminder that even a single act of grace can be enough to save the world. Yes. Uh, and so That's it's like, moral. yeah, I, I can't remember if it was that one or a different one, uh, but they, it was like two comments. The one was like, it's too dark. And then another one was just like, it was a good story. Obviously it was dark because it has nightmare in the title, I, um, um, which just made me crack up. I'm familiar with another children's book author. And uh, this is how she sells her children's books on, on uh, Twitter.com right here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, I got to pull up the, uh, the different tab. Uh, oh, and she, if she's been doing my, very uh, well with uh, with selling her children's books like this. Uh, apparently, this is how you're supposed to sell children's books, April. Uh, you need a banner like this. Uh, um, I don't, I don't no? think my husband would allow that. Oh, and if he but, did, I don't think he would be a good husband. No, uh, <laughs> but 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 it'll sell you a lot of children's books, apparently. I'd rather have my dignity. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
I just, I just can't believe it exists. So, um, well, what, where can we pull up one of her books? Pull up one of your books? No, one of her books. Like, oh, uh, it's I don't, hard, uh, like, can we? Let's see. Uh, we can pull up Worth the Wizard if you guys want to look at Worth the Wizard. In the go go dot com. I'm defaulting to my book uh, real quick just because that's how my Indiegogo goes, but I'll, I'll search from there. We Whenever already beat I take Micah Curtis. Starter, that's what happens to me. I know. It's just like, oh, there's the oh, link. You know, I have something really cool I could show off. But just man, like a random mm -hmm. thing. There was a Kickstarter. It was a, it's a Japanese lady. Uh, I believe she, her husband's, I think, English. See, people. Isaac liked it. He liked the word. He liked her uh, banner and wants to, wants to buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess it works. Oh my uh, gosh. Isaac, you suck. This really cool. Uh, so it's a bilingual uh, Japanese and English children's book. And the lady that did it, uh, let me look up her name again. Um, Shoot me the link on that. I'll, I'll, I'll check that out. So, so we can well, check actually, out. wait, wait. We'll she has out. a new one. She's actually got one because the Kickstarter happened last year right before COVID. And then COVID like made it really long to uh, uh, fulfill. Uh, but, but actually, I really need to show this off because she did an amazing job. When she finally was able, she actually, I think, hand bound the books. Um, real quick, let me throw up the Kickstarter that's happening now. Man Mandy does close to this. She's she's working more of the YouTube angle, uh, but she just like she uh, puts on like a low cut shirt and opens Magic the Gathering packs. Oh wow! On her on her stream, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get to see that, but the drawback is you do have to listen to her voice, um, and and it is it is really difficult. <laughs> uh, okay, to do. Here, let me, yeah. how do I send you a link to put in the chat? Um, there, you can either put it on Facebook, Discord. There's a private chat button in Streamyard here too. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here. Yeah. Let me drop it there. And real quick, I'm going to take off my headphones so I can grab it because, like, the detail that she put into fulfilling this Kickstarter uh, and everything was just wonderful. I just got to show it off real quick. I'll be right back. Lots of bouncing when you open card packs. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so this is some cool Kickstarter. I don't think uh, April is affiliated with this, and I'm not either. Uh, so she just likes this, which is cool. I like talking about things we like. That's kind of happy. It's very uncomics gate. <laughs> Let's see what this is. I hate Santa. Thank you for taking time to explore a campaign. Something not in American... It's, not there's, there's the English. Her husband, I believe, is like a fluent English speaker, so he handles like the other side. But she's got like, uh, she's got a couple little kids. It's cute. And like, she's done some videos of her like painting. Holy and stuff. crap! Why'd she put a twenty three thousand dollar goal up? That was dumb. I don't know. The last one, uh, the last Kickstarter raised. What was it? Hang on, let me find it again. It like blew up. Am Freeman is basically yeah. Th this is why we get along because we're very similar. I'm a little they're edgier than her. Me? Uh, they're saying that you're a female me. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. I can, yeah. Yeah, there but I'm a little, I'm a little edgier. That's the only difference. Yeah, you, so. you are. I, I tend to just kind of hang out. Let's see, what was it? She raised like a ton over her goal from the last one. Let me see. This, this is pretty good. I mean, we got, we got forty-one backers, three, three grand, but like twenty-three thousand. Why would you do? Oh my gosh. Uh, it has an agenda. Where'd the other one get? Uh, I'm trying here. I'll I'll drop the link to that one. It's here hard is to... Monster Preschool. Yeah, so I have uh I have that one right here. Let me turn on my camera real quick. Oh, it's in yen. I can't even tell. I know, so it's hard to tell, but I remember it like way surpassed. Uh, let's see, camera, camera. Let's Isaac, see. she's gonna turn on her camera. This is the moment you've been waiting for. That's Hi. definitely definitely not the female me. She's much prettier. So, yeah. All right, so this this is the Monster Preschool. Uh, and I believe she hand bound all this. There was a note that she sent. It said, uh, so there's me sent a Aww. note with it. It That's says, good. I would like to take a moment and once again, thank you for your support and for backing my project. It has taken some time, but I am so happy to finally send you monster preschool. I hope you like it. While I have bound each book with love and care, I may have made mistakes. Please do not hesitate to contact me if any issues or arise or need a replacement. I am invigorated more than ever to work and share my art with you. If you're interested in sharing that, it was like, you know, okay, share to Facebook, Instagram, uh, and then look out for the next Kickstarter. Why are Japanese people so nice? She's like the little videos I'd seen of her and her little kids. So cute. Cause you um, know, you know, the little like notes they leave in the margins of their manga where they like talk about yeah. their day and like, you know, I, I went shopping today for the first time. Yeah. I'm kind of a neat, but it was nice to get outside. They always seem like <laughs> such nice people. And like, uh, you well, know, <laughs> and then the language uh, is like, 
I, I'm not very familiar with the language, but my husband is. Uh, and it's like, yeah, the language is very polite because like at a certain time in history, if you said something the wrong way to a samurai, they could kill you. So <laughs> it kind of forced. Uh, but anyway, so they have, she has the cover, the jacket cover. Uh, and then she actually uh, has, okay. has a different cover. Uh, oh, it's cute. And look at this. This I love this part. Um, so this is a map of the world, and it has where all oh, the Kickstarters maps are came awesome. from. Sweet. And most of them were America. Uh, <laughs> and then like 37 for, from Japan. And it sucked, though, because uh, Japan really like closed off their shipping for a long time because of the mm. coup. Uh, and so it was frustrating. They send lots of updates. And they have a Discord, too, now. Um, but they, you know, did everything they could to send it out, uh, and then finally found a way. But it's just so sweet, and it just feels so like it feels like a quality, like personal product uh, that yes. she hand bound and everything. I don't think she's going to hand bound the next slip one. Slip cover uh, different from the. Oh yeah. yeah oh my gosh, the, that slip cover should be different than the actual cover. If you have a slip cover that's the same thing on the inside. It is the most maddening, stupid thing I've ever seen. Like, why would you put a cover above exactly what the same cover is? It doesn't make any sense, especially when you have a freaking paperback and not even a hard cover. cover's name, but um, oh my gosh! One of the other things, uh, you could get a personal portrait. Uh, so back when it happened, you know, the Kickstarter started. Little guy was a uh, newborn, and so we like Godzilla. So uh, she did a personal little portrait, uh, and his name's on the bottom. But I'm covering Aww. that. Cute. So and then in the once I got this and I was all excited uh, and so in the Discord I would you know showed it off and was like yeah I got it and uh, the I'm pretty sure it's the husband that you know corresponds in English and he was like oh I'm so glad he loved drawing you know painting that one so it just feels it's like the way Kickstarter should feel like very personal very like yeah, quality I like product that too. Uh, I need to throw some money at the um, it's different the way she's doing it this time. She had a lot of different rewards on the last uh, campaign. So the last one had like, it was like one point something million yen, uh, which is, which I don't know what that so translates to dollars. It's like, I think yen it came a zero or two. Two dollar. Let me, Google will figure this out for me. Yeah, I think it's like. It's, so she got 15,000, about, about $16,000 is what the last one made. So yeah. you get a sixteen thousand dollar campaign, and then you put up and you say, "I'm going to do a twenty three thousand dollar goal at this point." Yeah, that is kind I of. Don't know. It's like I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I always tell everybody like, just put your goal low, declare victory, and then you know, once well, people yeah. see it's going to succeed, then then they'll buy it more. It's uh, fun to have those stress that. goals too, because you can have your base up and then get people excited to get those stress goals. Do you have a copy? Uh, oh of yeah, your let book? me get. Yeah, one yeah. sec. I have a, a big shelf. Let me go grab it. Okay. You guys can look at me while she's off. Like you want to do for real. Here we go. Isaac, this is for you. This is my Kanye t-shirt. God save America. Yeah. Kanye made these awesome t-shirts last year. And uh, I do love it. So There we go. I actually have a really cool. Uh, I have the original artwork. Uh, the illustrator. Uh, we became good friends in the course of working on this together. Uh, and as a gift, she gave me one of the original prints. So. Uh, she has a really cool technique of how she puts it together. That's you can only really appreciate in person. But this is the book. It's called Mary Maine. All Nightmare right, Man. cute. So I can. Uh, I have this through Ingram Sparks. It does a pretty I, good. I job got I got my shirt from KanyeWest.com, Isaac. Obviously, <laughs> but you can't get them anymore. He does limited runs of these things, and then they they cost like hundreds of dollars on the on. Uh, I can read the first you know. page if you want. Sure. All right. So this is the the first. We're um, just gonna listen to April read now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, chapter one, imaginary friend. <clears throat> I'm not really that great at reading, so bear with me. I like to say I can uh, tell a we story. Should, we, but should get, we should get Vicky on to read it. <laughs> I'm okay. joking. It's an inside joke with my audience who, who knows ah. exactly what that trouble was. So, yeah. Mm, all right. I guess yeah. I can do better than that if that's an inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl in a little town with little to do. She played in the grass where the stream met the trees. And on hot summer days, she sat by the stream and let the water tickle her feet while she licked a popsicle. But none of the other kids wanted to sit with her. They all said that where they all said that there were scary monsters in the woods near where she played. Of course, she didn't believe them until the day she met one. On that day, the odd-looking bug boy had bounded out of the woods over the stream and asked for a lick of her popsicle. Any other child might have run away in fear, for surely they would have thought him a monster. However, Mary May, being a polite little girl, immediately offered to fetch a popsicle for him and went bouncing off to the kitchen. Her mother had been surprised she had 
wanted another popsicle so soon. But Mary May assured her, Oh no, it's not for me. It's for my funny looking friend who came out of the woods. And she went skipping away through the backyard again. Her mother never saw the funny looking bug boy. So she and everyone else assumed Mary May had an imaginary friend. After all, many little girls do. Mary May, of course, knew that was absurd. When she played with her dolls, they never talked to her on their own. But Waldo could come up with his own things to say. She would never, he would never tease her when she created games of wild imagination to play. He would always play along and sometimes make them even better. Then one day, Waldo didn't show up to play. Mary May wasn't terribly worried on the first day she didn't see him. But when nearly a week went by, she knew something must be terribly wrong. Deciding she had to do something, Mary May sat down with a pencil and paper. She tried drawing his squat, curved body, but couldn't quite get it right. His antennas were crooked. His legs were bent the wrong way, and she didn't know what to do with his arms, so she drew a banjo for him to hold instead. Mary May showed the picture to her mother and asked if she had seen him. Her mother just smiled and patted her head, then went back to calming Dee Dee's li Mary May's little sister, Dee Dee, who was crying again. When Mary May failed to get her mother to understand that Walter was missing, she threw the picture away in frustration. The sound of Dee Dee's crying faded into the background as Mary May pushed open the screen door and fled into the backyard. Dee Dee seemed to be crying a lot lately, and Mary May felt like doing the same now, but she wouldn't allow herself to. Even with the nightmare she'd been having about something awful happening to Waldo, she would not let herself fall apart. Mary May knew that crying would, and giving up would be, wouldn't be very brave, and she knew she'd have to be brave indeed if she were going to find her friend. So I'm going to... Oh, he's running. Oh, awesome. Yeah, go do go uh go deal with the baby. Uh he's ignoring me. I don't know. I I'll turn off Maybe. my camera when I need to pick him okay. up. Uh, but first, real quick before I have to do that, I'll show off the here's, uh, here's the hardcover link. Yeah. Yeah, Amazon can do hardcovers. Uh that's that's what's Yeah, fun. the uh so the Amazon technically only the audio the uh not audiobook, the uh uh ebook is through Amazon. Uh the the physical editions are printed from Ingram, but you can buy them through Amazon. Uh so this is the epic chainsaw battle of the little girl and her band of pirates and imaginary friend fighting mechanical wolves. So nice. I don't know how you could go wrong with that, but the way she does this is, uh, I don't know how well you can see over the stream, but there's certain parts where she kind of does like a print pattern. Uh, there's colored pencils. And then I don't know if you can see on the angle, a lot of them, like the pieces of the people are actually like shapes cut out that she like cuts out and then pastes. Oh, off. wow. That's cool. So it's like a collage. Um, really makes it pop. Wow, you bought it. You bought oh, it. Let, huh? let me, uh, let me get her link, um, to her website. Uh, she is a, a wonderful illustrator. Um, she's an artist, a freelancer. Uh, she's actually got two little kids of her own now. When we met, both of us didn't have kids. Uh, but now we both have kids, uh, oh. which is great. And so she was telling me like, there's a lot of, you know, it's, it's hard balancing wanting to do creative stuff like this and raising kids. Um, and right now she's like, there's a lot of events or things that are happening that people like local things that people want her to come do or teach or something that are kind of hard to do uh, when you, cause she's got like one that's, you know, only a couple months old. Uh, but whereas something like, uh, Where'd you go? I guess I, sorry. I guess I will carry the stream. Uh, no, no, sorry. No. That was me. Uh, so things like local, oh, baby local Sam. events are harder to do, but things like illustrating are easier to do once kids are in bed. Uh, so if anyone's looking for an illustrator, let me look, let me pull up her uh, website. I got an email yesterday from somebody like, Hey, how do I find a comic book artist? And I'm like, uh, don't take <laughs> mine. Mine are busy. <laughs> She's actually done one comic book, um, but I think it was, I forget, I forget all her thoughts on it. It was definitely like a, a challenge. Um, she's not like usually doing comics, um, but she's still a really good artist. Uh, so here's her website. Lovely lady. I miss living close to her. I need to go visit her. Oh, so you, knew, uh, you knew each other in person. That's cool. So the, the way we met was uh, when we lived in Florida, uh, there was a like Saturday market uh, downtown that was really awesome. And it was just one time walking through there and I saw her artwork in her little booth and was just like, wow, because I wrote the Mary May story when I was like 16. Um, and 
it's always it was always like on the back burner like i wanted to put it out but i really wanted illustrations with it uh and then i saw her artwork just walking in the market and was like oh my gosh she has the perfect style for what i want um so then we started talking and then meeting for coffee and kind of discussing like ideas or options for if we were in a kickstarter um and so then, you know, then that's kind of how we met and got started on it. And then we, of course, we had to move away. Uh, so I miss her, but we stay in touch. Food She's... illustration. Food illustration. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The yeah. one of the last uh, pictures in my book has some food on a table. And I swear, like the in person, like portrait of it, like the berries and the waffles seemed like they were just like popping out of the page. Yeah. It pretty neat. So good. Um, but yeah. So she's great. I love her. Um, she stays really busy, but we try and keep in touch. Um, and let's see, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, I, the, so when reading it just now, I'm, what I'm struggling with right now with trying to write the other story, uh, is I, I gotta think it's been so long since I actually wrote that. It's really hard to mimic that style again. Like, yeah, right. Like right now for the story, cause I've got like a couple weeks. And so this week I've told myself, I just need to vomit all the words on the page, uh, because I was plotting it, but then reached a point where I'm like, okay, I need to write to see where the rest of the story goes. So I'm just trying to vomit as many words on the page uh, as I can. And, you know, then next week, try and clean it up or kind of figure out what's going on. And then have the, third, the week after that to, you know, have people read it and refine it and then submit it. So that's kind of like the timeline I'm on, which. I've been in cleanup mode for like a month and I hate, I, what I did I, is I, I, I got, I got, I got so lazy in covid i was just sitting there in covid the whole time it's like you're stuck in your house you're lazy you don't want to do anything and i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna write another book and i just kept writing another book and writing another book and then not editing the books editing uh, is so hard. and then i've just got like three books piled up and i'm like god i haven't released a book in a year but i have I three can't books wait. i can't yeah. wait till me and jaji team up on something because so Fine. uh we've talked about it before um oh my gosh i remember man years and years ago it was like a I don't know if it was like an ask Reddit thing or like just on a different forum, like an ask thing. It was back before like I had officially become her fan daughter uh, when I was still just kind of like a, a fan that, you know, kind of, you know, knew her, but wasn't like super close. And someone was asking a question about her Prospero series. And she made just the comment of like, oh, maybe I'll have April like write the next one for yeah. me. And I like flipped out like, oh my gosh, my favorite author is saying I can write her book. I bet she, I bet she <laughs> totally would let you. She'd let you do she anything. She showed me the notes. Uh, that's probably not going to happen for a while, but she showed me the notes she has for possible uh, Prospero cool. uh, expansions. But uh, we also have a, see, I could, maybe I will continue a good bit with the uh, like children's thing. Cause we've also talked about doing, we both dance ballet. Uh, she actually still dances ballet uh, as just like a, a once a week, you know, class. Yeah, but, she does. Yeah, and her mom, really? her mom, who's like Jaji's mom, who is no like way. super, like they both dance ballet. Like we've all gone to dance class together. <laughs> April Crazy. seems cool, but this guy is a bit boring. Screw you, Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm John Dell now. I have see, see, this is what's happening. Is I'm damn it, I'm just <laughs> so since it's just me and everyone else and john's out of the picture i can now fully assimilate my fame of the superior version of john de la rose since i am actually the female version of him and therefore better uh and i can still be the leading hispanic voice in science whoa, fiction whoa, whoa, because whoa, whoa, I write science we are not <laughs> saying that we are not saying that females are better on my stream that's not happening on my stream no Oh man. Uh, okay, oh, what was gosh. I talking about? <laughs> this is, you Shut laugh. up, Drake. Shut up. Gosh, my 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 people suck. So, <laughs> as I gosh. said though, I I could I can be the female <laughs> leading voice, Hispanic voice, because I am a quarter Colombian. So there you go. <laughs> uh, okay, you you got me distracted being silly. What Sorry. Yeah, you got. Oh, you, oh but you me got, and Josh, we have this chat. idea of doing a um sort of like a a middle school like mystery series of this traveling ballet company uh so but anyway my, my point That's before cute. that was jaji jaji does she likes editing better than putting the words down initially uh and she's really oh good at, like, shit so you're saying i should team up with jaji and then no just write don't stuff. take my partner i'm gonna take your partner <laughs> no! I, I think i could write a ballet be better. Uh, ballet could... true mystery it sounds good let's go <laughs> but you're not a dancer no, but I can, I can, I can, I can write. You, you have to, you have to do ballet to actually write it. Like you got to do research. Uh, but anyway, it's interesting because. Wait, like, wait, what do you, you think I haven't like been to like a, like zillions of ballets in my life? I'm a cultured man. But have you danced so, ballet? Of course I've not. 
<laughs> anyway, what, what I was saying though, see, this is why it's both great and terrible. We're so alike because we keep getting each other distracted on different tangents. Well, that's what um, we're supposed to do. That's what the stream is. If you if you just stay on something, like it's, uh, hey, Isaac bought your book. So, oh yay! Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I think Drake bought you. I think we sold like two or three. Dance. Every time someone buys my book, I do a dance. Give me. Oh, she, she's she's gonna dance for you, Isaac. Here you okay, go. Okay, baby might cry in the background. Okay. Uh, there you go. I gotta set him down. All right, I'll go off screen and nobody wants to see me. <laughs> All right, one here. Um, here, I'll just have to do it like this real quick. It'll be a quick dance, but I hope you like it. We don't even need sound. There you go. That's probably my most popular popular video ever now. So, ah, oh, that man. So like, the everyone that knows me on my author Facebook, every time I try and do something, they just demand cows. <laughs> every time. I oh, post the cow. Like, Where's the cows? <laughs> Started with me dancing in a. When I think of uh, you, I do think of cows. Yeah. yeah. And, well, yeah. it started with me dancing at, in a cow onesie at Liberty Con, and then yeah. I was posting all the cute pictures of what our of our cows. And man, after like living away from the farm for two years, I freaking miss the cows and the milk, and I just I just miss cows. I that like was awesome. John clipped that great dance. Yeah. It's, what the heck? I mean, so so she just goes and dances a little on screen on screen, and then you guys act like simp's. But I go, then you're like, get rid of John. John sucks. It's like, come on, this is my this is my freaking channel. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, but anyway, uh, it'll be fun someday teaming up with Jaji because we kind of like pull, like our opposites in some ways where she likes the editing more than initially writing. And she has a harder time with like character emotions. She kind of has to like go back after the first draft and really like work on conveying those right. Yeah. Uh, whereas I feel like she excels more at like description writing, which I probably I'm not like super in tune with and she likes editing more and I like getting the words down first. So we'll be a dynamic duo whenever we get around to writing something. That's oh, pretty good. Anyway, I, I, I just want to write first uh, drafts and never edit anything again ever. <laughs> that's so. uh, that's kind of not going to work out well. <laughs> Is it not going to work out? I don't even no. want to, I don't even want to like, I, I like, I hate even going and like clarifying my first draft like that. Even that's too much. Yeah. So. Usually it's interesting. Right now, the way I like, since it's been so long since I've really wrote, written something, and my my voice, it's hard to find that same voice that Mary May had, uh, even though that kind of voice would be better for a short story because it's a little more concise. Um, and so I, I'm kind of like just not caring and just trying to get something down on the page and then try and like look at it and be like, okay, what do I actually need to keep and add? So maybe it will be a little easier to edit because it won't feel just like I'm cleaning. I don't know. Uh, oh, but let's also pump. Um, Jaji has a. Um, why isn't like she on here? If she's got something new, why isn't she here? What's going on? Oh, I don't know. I guess she's busy. Or, I don't, she's not really on Discord. She actually has something against Discord. Uh, Everybody's got something. Of, Discord kind of is uh, SJW and bad, just like everything else. Well, too. it's not so much Discord. It's whoever like owns Discord. Hmm. Like screwed up a laptop or something when she was first. Oh, really? Uh, I don't know. So she has. Jaji, a let's call it. Let's 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 uh. See if I can get Jaji in here. I don't know if she's busy or not, but I so don't know. She if she's has... not, then she'll I'll just give her the link. <laughs> I gave the quartering the link. Mm -hmm. So Okay, yeah. so she has a writing class that back in 2017, I actually like so I just kind of, you know, I'd been kind of done with high school uh and was working this terrible monogramming job and just like at a point where I'm like, okay, what's where where is my life gonna go next? Uh and Jaji was like, hey, I'm gonna do a uh, like a you know workshop writing workshop as part of homeschooling the boys this like fall do you want to come up for like you know a couple weeks to do a little like writing intensive and I'm like how about I quit my job and move up there and she's like sure and I was like awesome how did you get the uh, link test if I just give it to Jaji I got so anyway, it from A.M. Freeman A.M. Freeman gave you the link to my stream yeah. wait when how yeah you sent it to me remember what why would anybody do this? Wait, when did I? How did I? How how did I? Don't worry about it. You gave it to me though. What? No, no. It's fine. What? What the heck? <laughs> I just sent it how to Jaji. I, I was trying to get Jaji on the stream because everybody wants to hear from Jaji. They don't want to hear from you testify. Wait, did I accidentally like? Hang on. You you, you didn't send me the link, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are awful. I, I sent him. Don't worry about it. Out. Like, what did I do? 
He's back to all of my books. Wow, look at them. I love you, man. Man, you got what a friend everywhere. Yes, he's the only nice one. Everybody else is telling me to leave the stream and just have April on. So. Yeah, but anyway, but I need to. So she has a right. So I got to kind of have the very first like edition. So jo like Jaji's been. Oh yeah, Isaac, this is gonna be a train business, wreck. Business since like uh, like the eighties. So she's and she's the kind of writer where it didn't come as naturally to her. Like she really had to work to get the talent that she has, and so she's done a lot of like really thinking and like mulling over the the art and craft of writing. So her workshop, uh, like she's cut like a goal in a couple years is to actually host an in-person writing workshop over on Shinkatink, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, but for now, if you pick up your ebook, it's got some really solid, like really solid, like nitty gritty, like how to improve your writing or like just understanding like what makes the story work well. Are you working on improving your writing testify? Uh, I've already, I've got a factory set up for next week. A factory? Um, yeah. A factory. How's that work? I get about 30 Mexicans and I just tell them to start writing things. Okay. You know, put that's a book fair. together. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, you know, you probably make more money that way. So yeah, I just, I'm going to go that's for, what you is know, it James Patterson does have just like a ton of like, he does, yeah, the, the big authors all do not just him. They just I'm all have these little quantity, factories. not quality. It, they do. Nothing's going to make sense in it. It's just it, going to, just going to pump them out. It doesn't matter as long as you got a good cover. All the same so. formula. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, I'll drop the uh, here, John. You need to post this. I'll drop it in the private chat. It's really good. Like it's a really solid. Like it doesn't cover like every single thing, but just like has lots of really concrete, you know, little exercises to do. Of like, you know, if this scene's feeling flat, why is that? What things does it need? Or oh you know, yeah, I have this writing experiments. Uh, so really good. I was. Um, oh, I dropped it in the private chat. Whoops, wrong <laughs> button. Sorry. So anyway, for, <laughs> for anyone, I think that's really great. It's just like a really good way to really. That's a long, uh, uh, I should have shortened the link. Oh, yeah. well. So, anyway, love Jaji. She's great. Super smart. Everyone should go buy her little. Uh, Jaji's not responding. Neither's the quartering. <laughs> she's probably busy. She's a busy woman. Why is she busy? What is more, what could possibly be more important than streaming? I just happened to see your video. I'm not very good at like for any of my friends, like remembering when they stream. Uh, well, I'm I, so I don't know. glad you did. Cause like, if I you weren't here, to see it. I just happened to see it like in the sidebar. Of would've, like, it would have been George. On music to clean, and then I was like, "Oh, hey, it's John's stream." So I clicked on it, and then thought it was funny how the, you know, the comments pop up. So I was like, "Ha ha hi!" And why, then you're why like, "Why do you think George did that to me?" Testify like that I, was all I all I was told was George ruined the stream, and I need to come and save. It oh my out. god! Yeah, April already saved it. She she started filibustering, oh, and good. then I was able to kick him out, and it was great. So, uh, but okay. at the beginning, oh, like George, just like. I mean, he hyped me. He's like, dude, I got a package from Liam. And I'm like, oh, dude, wow. Thing, it? Liam. it was just Thank Xenotype Liam. again. Like, I'm like, this is two months ago, dude. We're so far behind this. Mm -hmm. uh, Valnit says, I miss George. We're, we're, we're talking about tree houses now. We're way on to tree. Is there any updates on the tree house? There, there was an update yesterday. Oh, no, I didn't see it. Wait, what's the tree I house? Put it, I put it on the farms. See, April doesn't know anything. This is what's amazing. So it's about to be you, fun. Do you know what Liam Gray is building his subfloor out of? No. What, uh, what What page of the farms are, do I need to be on here? Let's see. Uh, I think There's it's... too many pages for this Comscape thread. Yesterday, 11 a.m. Let me look for you. Yeah, it's like a couple back. Uh, oh, man. this. I, oh, gosh. Yeah, Mr. Dongs did a big dump. Yeah, he did a big write-up. But... Him and a uh, smug did. Uh, it's going to be the one before that, maybe. I'm so excited for this treehouse. Yeah, I mean, studio. I one, there is someone in my hometown that has a treehouse that's made out of different like ships and planes and helicopter parts. That was pretty interesting. He gave. He's been uh, time. every time. I, every time I run anything, of Liam, he's been uh, putting it in for uh, copyright violation. By oh, the way, he? yeah, every single time. <laughs> I've got two of them on here now. No, they haven't, I haven't been struck, but he's uh, he's reporting it. Yeah, All right. there it is. See, so I, even, I, put his, I put his cover there. And there everything. it is. You know, type two, don't let your dreams be dreams. Be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? Oh, oh I forgot to uh, put the audio. Gosh dang it. Yeah. It, it's not a real treehouse. It's a middle-aged man that says he's building a studio for his uh, writing. Yes. Oh. And it looks like a treehouse. Okay. JDA had 16 fire viewers when George was on. He's a rock star. <laughs> yeah, April is don't, too pure for. Yeah, Isaac, you're right. I mean, you 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 nailed it here. She is too pure for this. 
So I could get so me and Jaja when we were on vacation one time at Shinga Tank, and there was this island on this boat tour that we saw, and there was a house on stilts that used to be like on the island, but over time the island slowly moved away from it. And for years we've talked about how if we ever like make a bunch of money off of writing, we're gonna buy that island and that mm-hmm. little house. We have a house place. on stilts. Is it gonna look like this? It, it's no because that house is uh there's a like a nasa testing launch pad nearby and so it's like uh survived when there's been like explosions nearby uh, uh so florida storms no it's in uh ladies Shikin. and gentlemen of boys and girls welcome to the show my name is Dane <laughs> Graham, the founder of conquest comics i'm the creator of xenotype wonder island dino king and a whole bunch of other exciting things starshine spot i could rattle off about seven of these each one's going to be about 72 pages keeping them going writing them machine gun hard effort top quality work Top quality work. I talked that. Speaking I can't of top quality work, pause, wow. pause it really quick. Pause yeah. It. No, no, no. The, here, the, now, now, granted, he has been working all day on this thing. There is not <laughs> one drop of sweat on that T-shirt. Oh, there is, he's, there is none. No, there's no <laughs> way he built up. all that himself back there. There's no way. No. There's no way he did it. No. There's no freaking way. And it's cedar wood. <laughs> You don't use cedar for a subfloor. It's the softest, well, most soft. absorbent wood. That is that is pretty soft. Yeah. <laughs> we have we have a cedar chest, uh, like a nice little cedar chest that our record players on top of. Yeah. Uh, and so one, so and you the, do uh, have a literal record player. I ha- oh, you guys want to see it? Like yeah. uh, here, I can tell you a story of how we were coming back from visiting family uh, from, uh, yeah, for Thanksgiving. We we're driving back. The car is like totally packed with all our stuff. Uh, we take a stop somewhere, uh, you know, we're kind of close to home, and we go in this little antique store, and there's this really cool record player. It's about, like, three foot by one foot. Uh, it has, like, little speakers that fold out and everything. The speakers still work. Uh, my husband's kind of wanted to get records, uh, but for him, the purpose of having a record player would be that it's, like, analog music, and it's not, like, just I was going to get one so I could spin Bluetooth. and scratch because so it could be like, <laughs> and then like, and then I could have testify over and like, we'll have our like little rave parties, you know? So, um, all right. right so testy. then it was like, we, it was like $45 for this really nice, Sounds well, like or at least like still, still working record player. And, uh, Pierce or my husband was like, uh, if I can fit it in the car, you just dox your husband. For Persephone is his name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> By chance, do you see the name that we came up for Liam now? It's Blob right the Bill. The video, but <laughs> Blob the Bill. All right, here. I'll see if I can uh, turn on the camera briefly. Uh, All right, we're going to get the record player, and then we'll so, get back to Liam. Check this out. Oh, that's an old one. That's old school indeed. Yep. We got a cool little picture wow. for our Mary. Uh, and we've got, so yeah, it folds down. Still Is work. that Mary MacArthur? Like my friend Mary, too? Mary? Mary MacArthur? Mary? Or no? Mother of God, Mary. Oh no, I thought I thought you said there's a picture up top. You know of. Oh no, I, no, I was not. I'm this sorry. This is like a five dollar thing from a. Oh, okay. uh, well, there was a, an auction and they're giving away a bunch of stuff. So, uh, we have the nice cabinet here. Uh, that has we have some Godzilla records. Ham- uh, Hammer Doom says you're wrong. Testify that's not cedar. That's pressure treated wood. That is not pressure treated wood. Godzilla. So I found these on Amazon for Chris for my husband. Uh, is he big into Godzilla? One moment. We're getting a tour of the house now. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> They're worse than a lasmat. They are worse than a lasmat. Crazy! Oh, Look at that. Suits. They're pretty nice, though. Wow. Aren't they? Yeah. I may or may not, for my son's birthday, have made a Godzilla hat and a cake that looked like a building for his cake smash. So. It's not like the green treatment. The green stuff is not legal in Oz. Hammer of Doom's laying it down and calling you out on your bullshit. I'm test telling spot. you right now, it's cedar. Everybody that knows constructions looked at it said it's cedar. It's cedar. Anyway, the cedar chest that we have, it's so soft that the uh, giant transformer that my husband has that was like the size of our son when he got it was just like leaning against it and left a mark just from like leaning. So yeah, it's a soft one. If it is indeed cedar. Do you think it's cedar, April? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you right now that ain't oak. My brother could tell you probably. He's he's much more knowledgeable on the wood stuff. Well, let's let's check back oh, in with us. Wait a wait a second. Wait a second. Yes. I have a cow thing to show you guys. One second. A cow thing. A cow thing. Okay, Hang I'm on. I'm gonna check in with Oz when you get your cow thing. Here we go. It's the cow idol. Project. 
that nerd builds a comic book hut, right? Coming through That's twice. what we're doing. This is going to serve as my new studio. We've relocated to a new property where the crazy people don't know where we are. At least for now, we have this lovely glorious view. Is it actually coming through twice? No, now it is. It's you guys can it's a, it, we got a comic book hut. Do you think he used comic book hut intentionally? I don't know. I saw the great one was uh, uh -huh, streaming that's cute. earlier. It's a cow idol. I think it might be in one of Brian's books. I have fed a baby cow through a nipple before. What the shit? I have. I have yeah. done that many a times. Yeah, April's from a farm. <laughs> so we have a uh, cow cow, which is part of the reason everyone on my Facebook page demands cows. Is uh, She was in the house for a while. And then uh, she lived in the front yard with the dogs. And I think for a while thought she was a dog because she would kind of wrestle with them and chase cars along the fence line. And I have lots of pictures of me just like sitting on the porch with her, uh, hanging out with me. Uh, she's a great little I've cow. seen multiple. So yeah. Yeah. She does have, have a, a nice cow. Mm -hmm. we have a little ha Hammer of Doom is really laying it down. Hammer of Doom, if you'd like to come on and uh, and lay this down, I, I, I think we have a huge debate to have. Is this... Cedar, or is I feel this like you actually wood? see the real this receipt? Is like, I don't know, man. You got it, so it's it doesn't cedar. look like Drake says it doesn't look like cedar. So, uh, testify. I don't know. I think you're off base on this one. I'm not wrong. Cedar gate hashtag Cedar gate. Oh, it knows. Right best now. part. The best part is this. I will send you the YouTube video he is using to build this. We found that too. YouTube. Oh no, really? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it is literally. He is doing it. Instruction by instruction from a YouTube video. That's the best part. <laughs> How the heck did you determine that? Well, he's an Australian guy that we found, and it literally it looks exactly like this, except for Liam built it way too fucking high. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys are just going to town on this poor guy. Oh, yeah. Well, he deserves it. So uh, let's, 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 uh, let's check back in with Oz. Liam. We've got a beautiful wildlife in the form of... Green green parrots. Parrots. But that's, that's that's really you won't be able to hear any of that. Don't worry about it. Now it's, it's, so, um, now it's not? So no. lovely location. Yeah. Lovely location. Serve, essentially serve as a um essentially serve as a studio for my work. I'm there, we're gonna lay a layer of sand, oh. we're gonna put a layer of sand, there's layer of sand. The uh, we're gonna have a there's a cat under there. We're gonna have a layer of sand, then we're gonna do you see the cat on the top of that with oh, I some do. bricks. And That's called a uh, trailer shark. Which was rather silly stuff between it and getting created and getting It's coming and through twice like again. Is it uh, really? Guys, yeah. Everything is free. Gosh, I don't know what to do about this. Of, of Conquest Comics. So now it's, it's virtually not. weatherproof and it's in boxes. Your books will be fine. Okay? So we've got that happening now. Not a drip of sweat. I had a whole bunch of lumber in the yard. And it needed to go. We couldn't. It looks like the ground was starting to get dewy and stuff like that. I didn't want to have to buy all new wood and go through all of that process again. So, cut the pillars down, brought them up, drilled them in, lifted them up, bolted them in, each, each one by one. Got the entire bottom layer down. It does seem kind of high up. Is it normal to have it that like raised? It it is because it's a it's not a flat backyard. Okay. And it looks like it's uh, yeah. way higher at the end than it really right. is. It's level because it's a trailer. It has to be three feet off uh, the ground. Well, yeah, well, hi, yeah, okay. Why is he building a trailer? Because he probably lives in a trailer park and he oh. can't have any fixed structures. Or it could oh. be like a manufactured home and it's just like higher up. A manufactured home is the same thing as a trailer. Yeah, it is. That sounds they, fancy. They just so they just take that. the wheels. They just take the wheels <laughs> off. That's yeah. it. That's a good <laughs> That's point. That's what I'm in. So <laughs> oh. there's nothing wrong with living in a trailer. It it's not that. It's just this guy has gone around saying he's a millionaire and has multiple homes. Right. And then Wait. we see his home and it's yeah. a trailer park. Yeah. That's that's an interesting flex yeah. to say. It's yeah. An interesting no, you're flex. right. I'm pure for this. <laughs> you are. I'm sorry. No, I I never would make fun of anybody that lives in a trailer or trailer park. If that's what there is, their situation. This guy has made this big facade. Uh, uh, he's this big wig in Australia. That's, and it's that's why it's funny. Yeah, that's, that's uh, why this yeah. is funny. Yes. See that. Yeah, uh, and he's 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 building, I guess, or somebody's building. Oh God, and, Vicky and posted another see, picture of her legs over there. Uh, for the, um, the oh, hold on, hold on. Breaking Licky, breaking Vicky's legs. Yep. Let's go to Another Twitter. Picture. Let's go. Breaking Vicky's legs. Oh, oh she's even got breaking full toe news? in this one. Full I meant, toe. I meant, I meant breaking news. Vicky's legs, not. I know, but it Vicky's. came out. That came out. Oh later. my gosh! Full feet. She went feet. She, oh uh, my. Isaac's gonna lose his mind. Oh my gosh! Oh, let me pull this up. 
gosh, is Vicky trying to start an OnlyFans? Is this what's I, happening here? I think so. I mean, why else would you do this? Full feet. Full feet. Yep. What's the caption? Uh, nothing. Is it? There's nothing. Literally nothing. It's just feet. <laughs> just huh. feet. He, so oh just my! Feet. Oh my God! Isaac is going ballistic already. I told you he's gonna lose. Wow. It. You're gonna need a cleanup on aisle five. Oh my gosh. How did this all get so degenerate? I mean, you know, we were having a very nice Christian stream, and then Vicky does this. I here there. I know. I know a cute Twitter page that can help cleanse our palates. What, what's yeah. this one? What oh, no. What are we gonna cleanse with? Uh, I think it's called Little Nuns. It's a it's Little a Nuns. That sounds like it's gonna uh, make Isaac go no. ballistic too. It's a. It's a. Um, yeah, Isaac. A Isaac has a thing for nuns. To nuns with chickens or ducks, I think. Little oh nuns. God, he's gonna explode. Little yeah, nuns. Discord not, oh, wait, 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 it's called. Uh, here, let me just drop it because I don't little know nuns. how to. Uh, That's little nuns. It. Yeah, I follow Terry Moore. You guys already know that, though. So. Let's see here, this is the one I'm talking about. Very wholesome. Oh man, we need that after Vicky's feet. That's this one. All right, yeah. let's check this out. This looks wholesome. Okay. Little nuns. Oh, look at this. Is this a Chinese thing? This is cute. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's better. Oh, my gosh. Ah. I think they just, like, constantly post pictures of nuns doing fun things with ducks. That's n not good phrasing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to be good. Yeah. <laughs> nuns, uh, nuns and ducks. We'll just nuns and ducks. Nuns and ducks. Isaac. Nuns and ducks. Should, All right. Should I plug the page with space? Uh, Catholic space dog is. What's Catholic space dog? Hang on. Uh, this is also a fun page. Hang on a sec. Are, are you Catholic, April? I am. Oh, thank God. I heard that you are. I, I switched back, so. I thought I heard that. And yeah. Jason, actually. Jason Rainey. Jason did, too. Part. Yeah. We're all switching to the real Mother Church because, you know what? Oh, Catholic Lancer. I know him. Um, we switched uh, because Protestantism is just cope. So. Hmm. See, the thing is, like, the I know Protestants will complain about, like, oh, you have all these extra things and you know, confession and sacraments and stuff. I'm like, yes, yes, God can work outside of that. All that is there for our benefit because you, I need you to just impress her. Right. So, of course, <laughs> yeah, she, you can, you can smell them. Can't you? Beret? Yeah. <laughs> Although it can, you can just look at someone and know they're homeschooled and know they're a Catholic. Like, why are we looking at uh, Catholic Lancer? What's going on? I'm, I'm uh, Catholic just, and went to Lutheran to school. Him. Oh, cause he's nice. He's a nice guy. Yeah. He's got cool yeah. stuff. He's got very cute illustrations. Okay, we're only we're only like a third through this beautiful video of construction. I I, I need to finish this. It's so important to my wait, life. Wait, wait till you hear about the uh, child waiting center. So you oh, can watch no. the child in in this huge building he has. You have to let me know if this is coming through because my my audio shit's weird. So go ahead. Look, there are for um essentially going to be walls. In here are going to be the floor, right? They sort of link together like Legos, you know? And uh, Like Legos? Really Hello, today. People's Champion. Uh, Liam is building uh, a comic book hut. He said so. Be, uh, it's going to be heavily insulated. I'll probably get the walls done as well, like it's a music studio. I've got a few guys from back in the day. Be able to it's like a music that. studio. Exactly. So that'll be a lot of fun, like some of my old punk friends. And uh, we're going to get this thing up and going. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to give you guys lots of really cool, interesting stuff to look at. And more importantly, you're not going to be hearing a screaming baby whenever I'm live streaming. This is the right? best part. You know, no one's going to be able to complain about that. And as an added bonus, right? Hashtag family man. Hashtag uh, family hashtag man. Hashtag family man. So I'm not going to let you hear my screaming baby. It, it, no, oh my it gets God. better. It gets no, better. I can't, it can't possibly get better than hashtag family man. Wait, wait till you hear about the corner that's going to be so the kid could be oh. there. To take so to give the to misses take the a break. Down, and I'm gonna have a little I mean, corner that's area that's just for him, you know, or her, you know, that'll just where I can sort of oversee and look after the kid, 
so that she can get some sleep. And it'll be good. I mean, that's not a bad this, idea. Sort of, it keeps work and uh, business aside. It means that I won't have to worry work about it. Work and business aside. Um, <laughs> and, uh, messing up and appearing on the stream and then having their lives destroyed, right? So that's what's going on. Oh, you need to go back and listen to that. Ooh, go, go back like five seconds. Listen to what he just said. I'm not joking. Okay. This better be good. Have to worry about any kids running in, um, you know, and uh, and messing up and appearing on the stream and then having their lives destroyed, right? So I mean that just sounds on. like he doesn't want them doxxed, which is fair. Oh boy. Oh, it gets better. It's been a busy day. It's been it's been a busy day. day. So Wonder Island's nearly ready to launch too. Wonder Island. Uh, We've got colors that are happening. We're using this exciting Copic style by Lidl, right? So um, it's really cool. It looks like retro, old school um, manga and anime, you know, early Dragon Ball stuff. That's manga. Really here. And it really adds, brings sort of an extra level. Akira did a little bit of it too, you know. Um, I just love the Copic style. Lidl has mastered that. She's getting better every day. So she's working on that. Uh, and we're just working getting sort of the last of the concept art for the uh, for the campaign done, and then we're going to be up and going. You know, it's going to be happening, and uh, that's a big thanks to you guys. Now I'm thinking about uh, maybe if we do well enough here, if we do well enough here, I might. Uh, Has he removed this video time, yet? I'm not too flat out. I'm thinking I that think I might so. have like a nice little slab that I get professionally ornated engraved or something like that for uh, for people that have been. Big supporters, guys like William Parnell. I know you're watching this, Will. You watch all my videos. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. I'm thinking about no, he hasn't actually. Name in the side of the in the side of the conquest. This William Parnell hasn't Anyone watched it. Else who sort of you know donates or helps out has been a big contributor to the uh, to the efforts here in Australia. It's not like America. We don't have big companies to to help us sort of form comic uh, to write comic books to sort of make a living. There's no Marvel. There's no DC. If you want to do it, you got to pick up your roots and you got to haul butt to the US I, and you got to roll the dice. Pause it. That ain't the way that I, I want. I thought Marvel and DC ship worldwide. They do. Oh. Okay, yeah. Just, just, just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Okay. Hashtag family man, though. <laughs> well, see, okay. I, don't, I, I have no idea of the context of why it's fair to like, you know, poke a lot of fun at him. I mean, I can't uh, really fault him for wanting to have like a little spot for the baby. I, I don't know about the rest, though. <laughs> there, there, With all okay, the things no, he did, just, why did he try to? So this is the this is the context. Is he try? He was trying to sext uh, one of my artist friends. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he's a yeah. scumbag. Yeah, ah. that, that's the best yeah. way I could put it nicely without yeah. having to tell you the history of the guy. And so, there's still there's still bets out that there's no child. I'm I'm not convinced there is. So I'm not either. Um, now we did hear the lady on a stream in theory allegedly. I still think we, it's his sister. I I kind of can see that too. Yeah, this. So so the the funny part about hashtag Family Man is when he was sexting. Um, Nerd Wonder, he uh, he used hashtag romance. He actually said that to her. Uh, so uh, among a couple April. other things that you're um, forgetting, yeah. But I don't want to. I don't want to say those in front of April. I'm I too know. Pure, remember? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say the, uh, the bad parts. But hashtag romance was very funny. So hashtag family man in the context of hashtag romance to some random artist girl on the internet uh, is is a is a very uh, ironic thing. So. I like yeah, the hashtag yeah, family yeah. man pumpkin. I, I do too. Yeah, comic book cut kind of killed it with that. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. We'll continue. All right. <laughs> Not a drip of sweat on that Let's shirt. See. I want Australian creators to be able to put their stuff out there. I, I know that there's a market here. We have a bunch of talented people. You got Michael Bancroft. You got Chris Barton. You know. You got. Um, you got. I was. I keep calling him De James Dean. James Dean, but his name's Dean James. We got a whole bunch of real, of course, Kimosabi, right? Uh, arguably, arguably one of the most skilled and insightful comic book reviewers on YouTube. Period. Right? Very <laughs> oh boy! Man, very insightful man. No story crafting. He currently is he going to uh, shout out the Risey? Running a book called The Company Man. If you haven't no. checked that out yet, but I believe that guys like that, and there are even more that are out there that have tremendous talent. And we can succeed. So what we're doing now here is we're laying the groundwork. Kimosabi is not Vox Day. I made excellent distribution deals that are cut down lower than anyone else. Anyone else I can find for uh, that I can find doing this whole comic book thing, right? So we're going to be able to get cheaper shipping, uh, cheaper shipping, 
to everyone, which is going to help us bring down the cost of our books. I've just got to see if anyone wants to partner up with me to benefit from it. If you do, send me a message. Let, let me know, know because I'm, I'm a builder. builder. Blob the builder. I believe that we are the architects of tomorrow. We are the guys that are going to be making the dreams that other people are chasing. That's how we do it. I want to thank everyone step by step, brick by brick. You guys make this possible. You drive me, you inspire me, you motivate me. I'm going to continue to put out the best work I can and I'm going to help build this up so that, you know, we can, uh, we can get this happening. I want to thank everyone again. My name's Liam Gray. I'm the creator of Zenotype. I'm the founder of Conquest Comics. I'll see you later. There you go. There's the builder update. Everybody's waiting for that. That was way more interesting than, uh, than George unboxing, uh, his comic from like two months ago. Yes. Yeah. I I know. Okay. He tried to do it last night on Gosh. the, the well-read show. He tried to do the same thing, and we just ran him out of there as fast oh. as we could. George. Like, so, uh, can care. you tell me? Like, I've heard talk about it, but I haven't had the time to like Google or look it up. What's the uh, the arc? The arc because Arc Haven has some sort of like arc tunes or something now. Arc tunes? Yeah, it dropped yeah. yesterday. Uh, arc, so, uh, is it like? Is it arc like Haven. Tunes, but Arc Haven. It's webtoon, but Archive, and yeah. So you go to Archive and uh, com, uh, and boom. I it's a very, very clean, it. simple website. Yeah, and I'm just going to show mine off. You can click on Flying Sparks on here, and you get little episodes once a week, uh, and you just go boom, and uh, and then check it out like that. And I'll just put my little link in there so you guys can start reading the first chapter of Flying Sparks. If you like it, uh, all the books are available on Amazon, or you can get them from me direct. Uh, we have a pretty long series for this, but I'm very, I'm very excited for this. I mean, I guess I'm I guess like we, kind of addicted six, to six, food, six and so. 88. Do you look at that? Testify. Wow. <laughs> How did that happen? I did it. You did it. Yep. Of course that happens on my book. Yep. Jeez. I, so. Okay. I'll have to, let's see. So you go. Greg cool. says, I love I'll George, to... but that unboxing was disappointed. Yeah, that was, I was, yeah. I was, he hyped me for it. He was DMing me like, oh man, I've got something awesome. And I'm like, okay, cool. But it wasn't. Okay, cool. It looks like maybe I'll actually be able to read some of the comics because like it's much They're built easier for to read phone. them on my phone uh, because of baby and whatnot. And I am kind of addicted to reading web comics. Uh, yeah, they're built for phone. <laughs> it's great. He, so every, every single panel is sized specifically for a phone to to scroll through, and that's uh, that's what makes it uh, that's what's going to make this uh, a success, I think. So yeah, because I mean, that's yeah, that's definitely a uh, a viable uh, like market. The dude, thank you very much for the super chat hashtag family man. You're welcome for video. Did you did, are you the one who clipped that video? That's good work, the dude. You're doing I'm the, the one that clipped that video. You're doing, Screw you're, you, dude. You're doing the Lord's work. The dude, the dude paid me two dollars, so I'm, I have to trust him. So have to trust him he went over the line uh are you gonna fight with the dude now yes gosh if you understood the movie you'd, you'd get that reference i don't what movie was it were over you referencing the line, the oh dude. The, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry I think it's I'm a while young back. for this yeah no it's a great movie but you are <laughs> i i totally forgot that was a pretty good idea <laughs> i didn't give you a ringer man <laughs> the oh, we're going here now. Empty. Oh, geez. Um, so I guess that's the end of the stream. Does that sound right? I All gotta right, go bye. eat, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure to go back Dave's Volt if you have not already, and uh, check out Flying Sparks on Arkhaven. Go get April's book. Uh, where's your link again? Let me put that in the Somewhere chat in the one chat. more time. Somewhere I'm in the so chat. I'm glad I happened to see your... Uh... Your thing was live and I know. I, I at least I, I sold you at least two and it maybe Yay! three. So oh, oh, you guys are so oh, sweet. exciting. Well, they like you because you're nice. So I am. I am. Can't deny. So we are Mary May and the Nightmare Man, and I've got the link one even more if you time. Don't have kids like if the the whole superversive movement. Uh, even though there's not like an actual press for it now, but it is probably my most like superversive book. So it's the kind of thing where you can read. To enjoy with your kids uh or if you just want something that's like uplifting and you know give as an adult give you a fun adventure and some hope at the end of it you know good stuff yeah thanks for coming on hanging out yeah it was fun right. uh you'll have to shoot me a dm uh 
next time and I'll see if I'm free. Sure thing. Sounds good. Later.